I think there's a sense of pride in seeing something you've made on a Sunday afternoon being raced around a racetrack. When a car breaks down on circuit, it's a massive blow, but we all want to be able to get that running again, so we'll do whatever it takes. It takes teamwork, effort, to keep pushing to the next level, to get parts to the track as fast as we can. We make pretty much anything metallic. Anything you see on the car that's made of metal, even a lot of the carbon fibre is machined in here. We have around 300 parts per week. During the build, where we're busier, it would average out of 16,000 for the year. Within the machine shop, we have a day shift and a night shift, and we try to run 24-7, so without us, there wouldn't be a car. <laughs> so the cam office, fundamentally, they program all the jobs that come through the CNC mills, um, everything. They all receive the model from design, work out how it's machined, and decide the method of operation to get that part done. My role within the machine shop is to be a machinist and what I love about my job is making something from scratch. We'll have a 3D model on our computer system and stage by stage it gets turned from a block and it becomes a mechanical component. This is a titanium heat treated piece of billet which we get bought into size and we just prep it along the front here so we know it's going to sit well in our vise. So today we're on the DMU Evo 40 by DMG Murray. The material for the part we're using is called a plastic called Peak. It withstands quite high temperatures, so it's good for motorsport use. This provides some shielding from heat to obviously protect delicate electronics. So we use many different tools while we're machining our parts. Something like this tool here is for roughing, and we use other tools like bull noses for surfacing. To make something like this would take us six hours. So the parts we make are lifed, which means that they can only run for a various number of kilometers. And then we change those parts before they get to the point that they might break. We normally do a set one and a set two. We need to make sure uh, we've got a uh, containment if there's a crash at the track. So we will always have maybe three or four sets in stock. Based on what we've learned through continuous improvement, the machinists were spending too much time building their own tools. We worked out that we needed a dedicated tool room to be able to build those tools to allow the machinists to create the maximum output they can get. EDM department, generally you will find we will CNC mill it, then it will go to be finished off within the EDM section. Most of the parts you'll see in a Formula One car will not be standard. They may be a part that's available off the shelf, but it will be modified by the manual section. Not only do they carry out making the parts themselves, but they also do up issues and modifications to parts. Fundamentally, one of the most important areas of the business. Each of us in the machine shop really affect whether we win or not. I mean, we only make small parts, you know, but them small parts are part of a bigger machine. There's nothing else quite like it. The staff are always willing to go the extra mile, always. We try and create that ethos within the machine shop. The guys within these four walls do that to a tee.